When you see the statistics here in America, you see that number one cause of death is heart disease. You know, last patient I saw with heart disease, he arrived at the ER and 15 minutes later he was dead. That's how dangerous this disease is. Now some smart scientists started to figure out what is causing this problem. This is a very valid question, isn't it? And this is what they found out. Number one, tobacco use. Number two, as dangerous as smoking is, is a bad diet and lack of activity. Alcohol use, microbes, and toxins. These are the things that are causing most of the deaths in America. Okay? If you notice, every single one of these things is an optional thing. You, know, you choose to do these things if you want to. Now, this is not a new disease. If you go back to ancient Egypt, you see that there is a pattern with the way that those Egyptians were dying as the way that the people are dying today. What disease this man has? He has the Michelin tires here, you see? <laughs> Cavities. <laughs> gallbladder stones, very common, very, very common. You check the schedule of surgeries in the hospital, you know, full of those, you know. Cancer growth, and you can see here a plaque with atherosclerosis and they're pulling that hard stuff out of those, of those mummies. Mm -hmm. Now, these people, were they the rich people or were they the poor people who got mummified? Okay? Therefore, they have the diet of the kings. They have the habits of the kings. You should avoid those habits that the kings had. According to statistics, two-thirds of the deaths in the U.S. are directly related with diet. And the problem is that we're finding these problems in younger and younger generations. Check this study in which we're looking at the arteries of a 19 year old. Is he very old? No. Look at this atherosclerosis. Already quite important. And check this lady. 33 years old. Old or young? Very young. Look at the size of the blockage that she has in her arteries. And unfortunately, many times this doesn't give you a single symptom. If you were to talk to this lady and ask her, does your heart, does your chest hurt when, when you do exercise? No, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm fine, you know, no problem. And she believes that she is wonderful the way that she is living. Unfortunately, this is not going to stop here. It's going to continue advancing and bam. So this is the way that God intended your arteries to look like. This is the way that the arteries of many people look like. Do you see the huge difference? And because the blood is not coming into the different organs, that causes that the person ages faster than they should. Look at this study done in people 26 plus minus 6. 78% of them had atherosclerosis in the arteries of their heart already at that age. Amazing, isn't it? And this is what gets sick. You know, this is called the endothelium. This is what covers every single artery in your body. This gets sick and you get in big trouble. And what happened is that it's a very important part of your body because the organs that are here get their nourishment by this. If this gets all clogged up, those nutrients cannot get there. See the problem that we can get there? And if you were to eat, have a bad habit once a year, nothing happens to you. You know, your body has the ability to handle that abuse once a year. But if you do it, every single day over and over 
then your own immune system is trying to capture some of those bad particles that, are, that you're putting in your body and this starts to clog up. And suddenly, instead of having some smooth surfaces, you have these rough arteries in which actually the blood cells bounce and you actually damage your blood cells as they're bouncing around there. Now, this is a pattern that you can see over and over. This is a very famous painter in Mexico that liked to paint the, uh, how the ancient uh, Indians used to live in Mexico. How many obese Indians do you see there? One, two, three, four, five. Not a single one of them, isn't it? Then some terrorists came on these boats okay, <laughs> and brought things to this continent that were non-existent. Didn't, we didn't have goats, we didn't have cows, we didn't have pigs, we didn't have chickens here in this continent. Okay? And people change their habits as a result of that. And now the norm is somebody that is obese or somebody that is overweight. In fact, many times in consultation, I get very worried mothers that bring their child and say, doctor, you have to check my child. I think he has worms, you know, because he is thin. <laughs> I check him out, he is completely normal. But compared to the other children, he looks abnormal, see? When we went to Africa, my wife and I, these are pictures that we took. How many obese children do you see there? We went to schools, whole schools we saw them. Not a single obese child there among the group. Why? Because their diet was simple. Diet was what came out of the ground, you know. Not the foods of the kings and queens. And a lot of hard work. There's no Walmart or homeland. You have to cultivate your own food there. And life is simple. Now, you get the same genetics, the same people, and you put them in a different environment and you spell disaster. And this is what is destroying our country. Fortunately, your body has ability to reverse these things. And your body can start reversing that plaque so that you are able to regain that circulation as God intended. So, atherosclerosis, as we saw in closing, starts at young age. Unfortunately, it doesn't give symptoms. All the time I say this in consultation. I get the lab of somebody, their cholesterol is horrible, their triglycerides are horrible. I tell them, you have to change. And what they tell me? No, I feel fine, you know. <laughs> Why should I change? But unfortunately, their arteries are closing and once the symptoms start to appear, sometimes it's too late because the blockage is quite severe and death is just around the corner. Therefore, you have to learn to control yourself. There's a saying that says, everything depends upon the right use of the will. Therefore, you are going to decide tomorrow, not somebody else. We personally decide what we put and what we don't put in our bodies. And good seeds are going to give you good fruit. Bad seeds will give you bad fruit. Therefore, choose wisely.